In today's video, we will understand sorting a list using Java 8 streams with step-by-step -step explanation in detail. We will cover how to sort a list of primitives and objects using Java streams. First, let us create an object of array list. Add some integers to it. Now, if we need to sort it without streams using methods prior to Java 8, we will use sort method of collections class and pass the list to it. Note that sort method is static and this is the reason that it can be called directly using class name. Print the list before sorting and after sorting. Run this. The list is sorted. Remember that sort method sorts the list in natural order, which means in ascending order of its elements. For sorting a list in opposite or descending order, use reverse method of collections class. Works? Now let's understand how to sort this list using Java streams. First, comment this out. To sort a list with stream, first we need to get a stream over the list. For this, we use stream method as you can assign this to a variable of type stream of integers. To sort a stream, we have a sorted method which can be called on a stream. Sorted method returns another stream with elements sorted in natural or ascending order. Assign this to another variable. Now to convert this stream into a list, use collect method with the collector type as a list. Assign this to a new list. Run this. Look, we have a sorted list. Remember that with this method, the original list remains unmodified as opposed to collections.sort, where the actual list is sorted. To verify, print the original list after sorting. Run this. The original list remains unmodified. So, this method can also be useful when you don't want to modify the original list. If you want to modify the original list, then instead of assigning the result of collect to a new list, assign it to the original list. An important point to understand here is that sorted is an intermediate stream operation, which means that its result will be another stream while collect is a terminal operation, which means that its result will be a value, a list in this case. If you prefer method chaining and one-liners, then you can sort a list in single line by chaining these methods. We don't need all these. Run this. Works the same. Now let's understand how to sort a list of custom objects without stream. Create a class called car whose objects we will be sorting. Suppose this class has two fields, brand and model. Generate getter and setter methods for these. Also generate a constructor with these field arguments so that it is easier to create its objects. And generate a toString method so that when we print the objects, we get a meaningful output. Remove all this code. Create an array list to hold objects of type car. Add some cars to it. Now, to sort this list in a traditional way, use collection.sort method as before. This will be an error since sort method does not work with custom objects. Look at the error. The reason that it is not allowed is because sort does not know on which basis it should sort the objects. And for this, we need to provide a comparator that defines the sorting logic. Create a new class that implements comparator. Since we want this comparator to sort car objects, its generic type will be car. Implement its compare method. We will sort objects based on the brand field. So, 
compare the brand values of both objects. This will sort in ascending order. To sort in descending, reverse the order of objects. Provide an object of this class to sort method. Print the list before and after sort. Run this. The list is sorted on the basis of brand. If you are comfortable with Lambda expressions introduced in Java 8, then we can provide implementation of compare method here only, since comparator is a functional interface. A Lambda expression for this method implementation will accept two arguments and return an integer. So, provide two arguments followed by an arrow and the logic that we need to implement. The logic will be this only. This lambda expression will work the same way as this comparator. We can remove this. Run it. Works. Now let's sort this list with streams. Comment this out. As earlier, get a stream over this list using stream method and call sorted method on this stream. We need to pass a comparator here as well. So we can apply the same lambda expression since it is an implementation of a comparator. Copy this. Convert this stream to a list with collect method as before. Break this line into separate lines for better understanding. Assign the return value to the original list. Run this. Works. To sort this list in reverse order of brand name, simply interchange these variables. Run it. The list is sorted in reverse order. So, in this video, we learned how to sort a list of integers and our own objects using stream and without using stream using collections.sort method. And we also use lambda expression to provide comparator implementation. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.